charges next. Yeah, that shit, they go try to charge it next. Now I get to do my thing. I'm put the little big head boy to sleep. Uh, all right. Uh, back to what I was saying. Now, whether y'all believe it or not, but the uh, Rams is being really scripted right now, allowing them to have all these damn wins, knowing that team ain't shit, knowing that the Chargers ain't shit. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Chopping through the Raiders because they know that even with those few players that – it was a real impact on the whole goddamn team. I don't know what the hell they sitting up here going through. Ugh. And we see Mark Davis sitting there watching the game, sitting in the stands, too, making you and just, if you was there to throw a tomato at his ass, because it's like, what are you doing? <sighs> Same thing with John Gruden. I don't care how y'all try to get y'all relationship going. You and Carr, like I said, you're going to have to walk him through these this nine-yard situation that you just put him in, as far as, like, y'all paying him all this damn money, you know, and damn well, he's not being uh, true to anybody, but this structure was to go into play because even with this, them saying with this Vegas move, that was already being written and scripted and all of that shit, even though the real fans and people that was fighting for them to stay in Oakland, they could have, but because they were saying, whatever, past that point, getting to Vegas, it ain't gonna be shit. He can go ahead and pick up all the players that, that he won't, but I mean, the line is pretty much speaking. Like, okay, you done been sacked how many times in this game? Y'all ain't got number three points on here. They letting you know, like, okay, we see this shit. You're not here for us. You're not here. Like, we defend you, but you're not defending us. We fight for you, but you're not fighting for us. And that's basically what's going on on the track and field because he ain't, you ain't, this whole time, you ain't doing shit. So they like to post the blame on different people. If it's not the coach, oh, it's this, oh, it's that. They know exactly. Everybody's in cahoots with the whole little situation. <clears throat> and it's just scandalous to see that okay you on you on board for the ride and the money and all of this shit and then while you riding it out you get to know some of these you know the people that you playing with you start respecting them you start finding you know what i mean that love and all of that shit and just to turn around and having to really do the switch mode turn it on and off that's a real fucked up thing you keep on looking at it like it's just a trade that go with it but it goes a long ass way it goes through penetrating trust and and players you know what i mean because you know what i mean you got to trust in your line you got to trust in all of that so it goes a long ass way and to know it's like you're just selling out and seeing that ain't nobody really been looking at this season like they should really be fighting for shit. I'm not uh, complaining that they uh, opening up the lines or they not really tightening up the lines for them to get through to sack his ass. Because, I mean, what more do you want? That's all you're going to get out of it. And, shit, that's it. I just say you, you, you suck. I, I still, even me watching, I mean, even me looking at highlights or whatever, I'm not too into the, you know, the Rams like that, but I just can't see it. I don't, I don't see where everybody is with this shit. I don't, the whole movement of them, they need to keep it, maybe they should have moved to Vegas. Maybe Chargers or somebody else should have moved to Vegas and not fucking Oakland. It's just... That's just what it is. Yeah, I think he's just trying to break away from the whole Al Davis movement and think about his own. Uh, um, what is this? Uh, Mark, see, the reason why it's taking me so long because I'm trying to stay along the lines of stay keeping it straight. I started to look at like you know, they took a couple key black people out of the uh, whole situation and the whole organization so now I just want to be like you know it's just going to be straight white people and then you know that kind of takes the fun and everything about the game about the game I like that you know what I mean but with us we bring swag and everything to everything shit 
Uh, put swag on a fucking meal. Shit, it's all about the presentation. It's all about this. It's all about that. Like that's what we bring to the table. And just watch all y'all just gonna be the same. Y'all don't hop over other players like we do. Y'all not juking shit. We gotta teach y'all and show y'all that. So it's a lot. And to see like how y'all will be able, to, we bring y'all money. That's another thing. Us blacks bring a whole lot of people money, and then when they want to take our leaders and shit off the top, we be looking like damn we just gonna keep on following because they hit us with some dumbass excuse or some other little shit that have us looking like well that could be it that's why a lot of us stay and some of us go but yeah like I was I was speaking to somebody a minute ago about a lot of the black people were being proud about creeping up top and really stand on top. Everything that they put their hands on, they got to the top and ain't nobody been able to knock their ass down. And I took those a uh, couple example of um, Woodson and uh, Woodley, which is a, a UFC fighter. And, you know, for that white boy to um, hold on like that, they were like, oh, he got that stamina. He'd probably be able to knock him off the top and whoop the whoop the same way. They paid all that money to bring uh, Mayweather back out. You know what I mean? They have this thing on black people. It's like, you can get paid for that. You can get paid for this. I watched so many documentaries and watched so much stuff. I came across one where they was like, <coughs> We're so big on brands and big on this that they can take toilet water, slap a label on it, put a cost of over the average cost, and we will buy that shit. And that was very sad for me to see. I watch. I, I come on. This whole world is sad to me. But to know that, and then looking at the, looking at that, I don't know. I just look at shit like it's totally different. I think it's taking a, just a different stance on life. Period. Because Oakland. Mm -mm. I mean, I can't see it. And then the you know the people that you want to you know to do the the good things by you steady just fucking over. And it's like it's weird. It's weird to watch because I can't just look at it like like all situations. I can't just look at it like that's just what it is. Because everything does happen for a reason. Regardless if somebody try to dumb me down. Regardless if somebody say this and that and the other. No. Because a lose is a lose. There's no way in hell that <laughs> they go through so much. They be like, oh, is this the one that's going to knock him off the top? Let's see, let's see. Because they waiting on that. They waiting on that. They waiting on put one on at the top because naturally you're strong. And that's why they have so many of these uh, enhanced drugs and performance that they've been pumping and putting in themselves only to go against you. And y'all do all these, uh, y'all think it's cool and okay when y'all do these Madden games and they, you know, hooking this shit up to your body. And Man, all they doing is trying to beat the shit out of that. I mean, all of your aspects, your movements, either they in there making an AI to mimic all your shit. Or are they making something to make sure that they're going to beat your shit? And that's just what it is. And we should think about that as black people because they, they test too much. They do too much. They match our DNA with everything. It's almost scary. <clears throat> and they test so much. Half of the fruits and vegetables that we thought was real ain't even real. I'm finding out that just like, oh, my God. I'll be over here like, oh, I want that broccoli. Oh, I want this. And it's not. That ain't that ain't real. That no, not at all. So tasty, but no, I guess real. just like tilapia, you would have never known that that was a, a lab-based fish and all that other stuff. Go about your business. A lab-based fish and all that other stuff. It's so much stuff that we look at just like, oh, that's just what it is. But just like the meat, like I said, uh, speaking to someone, I don't even like really the chicken. It doesn't have the same texture. And on top of that, when you bite into it, it's like you. It doesn't, the top of it doesn't want to tear or something like this. And this this is me eating from some of my favorite places. Like, you know, and it's like, mm -mm, it's a turn off. The meat ain't the same. And they talking about the the ocean. How did I, how did I go all the way into this? I was going to say, they talk about the ocean going all the way 5% of this, 5% of that. But that's a lie. They keep saying it's untouched because they keep on doing testing, all these ugly looking ass 
different fishes red, red, that you red, red. and different species Hi, that you never heard but continue red. to come out red. and all of this stuff that they dump in the ocean as well as falling off a truck because <coughs> they then start cloning me and they then start um what's that um cloning and slicing and it's just it's just horrible and like we don't pay attention but it's like a lot of stuff that i put in people's faces that i've seen on the news about you know what i mean them not having to kill any more animals or, or per se or whatever the case may be to eat and do all of this stuff so they take a muscle out of the calf and grow that or it's it just doesn't sound right and that's what we eating now or we it's, it's just crazy and to be looking at that and then for me to be coming across that and coming across all type of different stuff it is crazy but I, like I, I tried to stop myself from going there because I didn't even mean to go there I meant to stay a long time unstableness i'm telling you unstableness but i meant to stay along the line of the whole raiders because like i said they hold franchise if that's the case they're knocking off a whole lot of this and now it's starting to trickle into um you know the players and go ahead uh the patriots already tried that the all white all american team but you see that shit has gotten turned out with all blacks all <laughs> I mean, everybody try to take that stance, and then once they stop fucking with you, or as far as the NFL stop digging in your pockets and doing what the fuck they want to, because now you making yourself available. Because you gotta think about how your daddy moved. Why did he move the Raiders? Why did he do what he wanted to do with them? And they hated on him. Why? Because he was he paid the cost to be the boss and continue to move forward regardless of anything. Even if we was losing, guess what? When they jumped on that field and they felt like they want to sock a nigga out, I was like, that's right. Cause they gonna keep on fucking over our points. They are gonna keep on trying to do us dirty. So that yeah, that's enough. When you want to go there, you gonna just drop the gloves and gonna beat the shit out of a person. Shit. That's the only way they understand. And then they start looking at it. But like I said, we have to straighten up for ourselves. Y'all don't want that on the field no more. So why the fuck y'all can keep on doing that? I look at life in general. As soon as you start being humble, as soon as you start like, okay, we finna do this right, you know what I mean? We don't have to get on the field and beat nobody ass. We don't have to do this. As soon as you get there, it's like, okay, we still hate you, so we gonna... <laughs> it's all type of stuff. So for you to be trying to go against that and when we already picked up so many pieces without having to kiss no ass <laughs> up until now, it's like, oh my God, now when everything was just like boop 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 coming together like bomb ass pieces and we are here about to get this championship you want to do all of these switches transformation and then you going to jump to Vegas like this shit it's like everything is a, I don't know I, I can't stand it sometimes I can't stand here and my mouth just go ahead and keep on going off about it because it's like I do talk about this shit in there every day and I know my household they be looking like oh my gosh shut the fuck up shut up even my kids, anybody give me this they're like oh. yeah right and I'll be still in there like yes yeah and these motherfuckers is really tripping you see these motherfuckers what the fuck they doing to me should we ready to pull my fucking hair out cause this shit don't make no goddamn sense how they fucking pay him all that goddamn money and from the time he been on the team he only been giving us what the fuck we see that ain't no wool over our eyes they ain't playing no mat in front of us they he over here doing that bullshit and we just slowing it we like that shit. I don't know what the fuck it is. It gets crazy. <coughs> That's what I'm saying. Take two goddamn video or something different. Goddamn Brady's. Y'all can go. We can do better than this. I just. I'm... See, I got mixed emotions. This is really just really unsettling for my ass. Because. They can say one thing, but then you just see everything, and it's just like, it's not nearly what you're talking about or what you're trying to preach to me. This shit ain't right. And this Fox Sports shit. 
They're talking about all the wrong things. I mean, not, not so much as all the wrong things, but they pretty much sugarcoat it, which I understand. Can't speak out. That's your job. Well, let's get real. I don't care what type of numbers the Rams is putting up. Ain't shit. And I don't care what type of number that any of these teams is putting up. They ain't shit. I know when we came into this season without a few trades, and the king is gone. With our, you know, with the with the trades, or before the trades, that ain't no other way but to the top. It's like everybody's gonna get what they want out of this. I say for the last two years before they was like we gonna make that Vegas move. I felt like everybody was gonna get what they want out of that team before they go to Vegas. It's like they gonna allow them to do what they need to do. This is their last time in Oakland. Like just boom. And that shit didn't go that way. And I was like, it's a really eye. It's an eye opener. It's an eye opener. Try to not look at situations so much as that. But it's like, what the hell is going on? I mean, you know, sometimes you don't all fully agree. And then when you make a move like that, you don't have no problem. You did it a couple times to, you know, bring people back or whatever the case may be. So I just don't know. We're moving forward. And at the time where everything was, it wasn't bad, but moving moving up because of the people and the dynamic of the whole uh, team was coming together and seeming a little better. And we fired the coach. And that was just shocking, like, okay, but even if we wasn't able to pull the wind off so fast, you know what I mean? Because if I'm not mistaken, he was, like, fired, like, the first couple games of the season. <laughs> Or before it, so it's like, damn, you ain't been getting nothing to warm up. I mean, Carr been killing us ever since he been on the fucking field, and we just been putting people behind him to drive or to make him look good. This don't, this is blowing my mind. Like all these people that you trading had did what they had to do to make him look good. You know what I mean? Even though they making themselves look good, but it, they. Pfft. You block me long enough in a fucking pocket, I can toss that ball to somebody. Stop fucking playing. You give my son enough time in a fucking pocket, he can get that ball to somebody. Stop fucking playing. Like, let's be real around this motherfucker. This is turning into a fucking joke and a game. Like, I don't know. I'm about to wrap it up because I feel myself doing the flip flopping like I be doing on my family. My man, I be in here kicking and I be like, "What the fuck is you talking about?" I put this foot in all ten toes, straight up your ass, and wiggle my toes through your throat. Okay, ma'am. <laughs> So much unstableness. Okay, I'm about to wrap it up. But here's my. Come here. Let me show you my man. Come, come, come. Oh, Lord. Hey, Eminem. Say hey, yo. Producers, who are they playing? Who are the Patriots playing? Say hey. Oh. He don't like to give me no kisses. He like to put his hands on me. Oh, you gonna be sweet today? No feet, no hands and feet. He like to put his hands and feet in my face when I try to go for a kiss. He's such a sweet little. He's such a sweet little. Oh, yeah. That's my man. Right there, those three. Is that you gonna go? All right, big, big boss. You can. You go nuts. All right. Hopefully everybody have a safe and good night. I'm Savvy Creature here. About to go ahead and wrap it on up so I can uh, see what my nightlife is like. All right. Stay straight. Stay blessed. Good night.